crazy thing, this is how politicians speak. So I'm gonna do a couple of things, and when I go over this next part, I'm not being Republican, liberal, whatever. I, I just want, my brain's a little jaded because I've been teaching this for so long, I understand how they sell stuff. So I listen to them and it drives me nuts on both sides. And I'm gonna give you an example of somebody that did this perfect, and I'm gonna give you an example of our president that does this, okay? Um, so I'll use Obama. Obama's a great salesperson. Okay? Forget the politics. Okay? In front of people, being talking, people liked him, sold stuff. He sold a sixth of our economy with the health care bill without having a bill. Okay? And forget the, don't, I don't want you to make this political. Don't be like, well, I need this. I want you to think about it as a sales and marketing campaign. I can't bring a dealer agreement to sell gap to your dealer without them reading the whole thing. The dealer agreement, make sure nobody's gonna take advantage of them. However, our Congress passed a bill that wasn't even written. That's a good sales presentation, okay? It really is, I mean, that's, is. But it was this, okay? So, you know, if you took 100 people in the room of all different ethnic backgrounds, sexual preferences, poli you know, different politics, you got, you know, everything. And you ask these questions. Um, do you think it's right in America for people to get a, a, have a health issue and go bankrupt? No. You have, I'll use 95, we'll say no. There'll be the 5% of whack jobs that just, they're crazy. I can't fix crazy. 95% say no. Um, do you think a woman that, or a person that's worked their whole life and they retire and they get diagnosed with cancer should lose their home and everything else? No, that, that kind of sucks. Do you think a kid that gets uh, leukemia or you know, when they're little and their parents have to quit their job to take care of their kid and they lose everything they have, you think that's right? No, nobody's gonna say yes, okay? Um, if he would've came out, Obama had a bill that's actually written and here's what we're gonna do, here's the money we're gonna tax you, here's all the stuff, it would've never gone through because now you're getting into the substance. So here's how he got it done. Um, one of the best sales presentations I've ever seen. And again, don't get confused with the politics in this, okay? Just Focus on the presentation. He comes out and has a press conference and we have an audience. So who would you guys feel the worst for? Like what pulls at your heartstrings the most as a human? Like what age group? Kids. And? Kids. Yeah. People middle aged like me, meh. Little kid, older people. That's, that's your heartstrings, right? You don't care. Uh, so. In my audience, I got little Timmy and Gertrude. I don't know what their names were. I got little people, right? Qualifying statement. How do we live in the richest society that's ever existed on earth with more natural resources, more money, and more technology than we've ever had, and we don't have a fantastic health system? How do we live in a situation where we have kids of families of our citizens that get sick and their family loses everything? How do we have somebody go to work forever and get sick two weeks after they retire and lose their house? That should not happen in America. Again, I don't think anybody disagrees, right? That, that, that sounds pretty bad. Up here, and they point out, you know, Timmy tells a story about how, you know, Timmy got diagnosed with leukemia, he was a great kid, his parents worked hard. Um, mom had to take off work to be with the kid. She's living four hours away in uh, the hospital room with her son while her husband's home, taking extra hours, trying to make things work ends up losing their house and, and having to declare bankruptcy because they want to keep their kid alive. That shouldn't happen. And they got Gertrude here, she worked in a factory six days a week, working 15 hours a day, finally got to retire, got her boat, was gone. Um, she was happy and then a week later she got diagnosed with cancer and everything that she worked for her whole life is gone. That shouldn't happen in America. And everybody's like, well, no, nah, tearing. And everybody still agrees with that issue. Forget what the policy is, everybody agrees with it, right? Now, we owe it to ourselves as Americans to pass the Affordable Health Care Act so this never happens again. Can you see why we owe it to ourselves so this doesn't happen again? And he walks off stage. <coughs> pass the next damn day. Not one time did he talk about what it was actually gonna do. It was that. He sold a six of our economy on that. Great presentation, okay? So the reason I'm telling you that is in F and I, like learn from the best salespeople, right? And F and I, we're selling this. We're selling, you know, the peace of mind. You want to fix your monthly budget. You want to take care of yourself. You don't have to worry about things. You'll be able to trade the car in whenever you want to. Oh, by the way, here's how you do it, okay? Versus here's all the benefits we have. Oh, you don't want it? Let me explain to you why you need it. 
It's just a difference, presentation. I'll take, um, take somebody that's not a politician, um, business person, take Trump. Trump is not a politician. Trump is a businessman. Trump reminds me of a car dealer. In a lot of cases, he's been sitting in boardrooms forever, like do this, do this, do this, do this. Therefore, that's why he had the tweets and everything else. And you know, it doesn't come across sometimes as presidential. He makes mistakes all the time with his approach. Okay? Um, take one of the, I'm not gonna use anything recent. I'll take the immigration and the wall. What is, and I don't wanna say yours, cause I don't wanna get political. What is uh, the view of the media with Trump and the wall? What is he because he wants to build a wall? Racist. Racist, yeah. You know why they accuse him that? Do I, do I think he's like, he, did, do I think he hates every brown person down in South America, honestly? You think he hates every single one of those brown people or he's racist? No, they're gonna spin it. However, the policy could come across as very racist because he made a comment that uh, we wanna keep the drug dealers, the rapists and the human traffickers out. And the media spun out as he's a racist and he thinks everybody down South is drug dealing uh, human traffickers, right? He explained, you know, so now he tries to get funding for it when I think he's racist and trying to keep the people out and everything else. And it's gonna constantly always be a fight because he never explained it right. Now, I don't know if the solution is wall or whatever else, but I wouldn't have focused on the wall to keep people out in that way. Um, the biggest problem right now in Mexico, bigger than drugs is human trafficking, okay? Uh, so if he would have started off, his conclusion was by, I'm gonna use his wall, building the wall will protect the people south of us, if that was his conclusion, qualifying. Uh, you know, it's a statement. Right now, uh, why are people risking everything they have, their whole finances and their life to come to our country? All right, goes there. We have people that are literally trekking a thousand miles through a desert that they paid all their life savings to a coyote, drug dealer, whatever, to hope to have the chance to come across the border. We have families giving their kids to people to take them to America so they can have a chance, the prosperity we have here. You know, they come here, they have a chance. And what's happening is these kids are being kidnapped, sold into sex slavery, being uh, robbed, murdered, everything stolen from. There is not a good way for them to come in. They're coming over the rivers, coming through the walls. We can't, don't know who's coming in and they're paying money and being stolen, raped and kidnapped. We can't have that happen anymore. We have to address this, fix our immigration law, but whatever kind of security thing, open a big ass door so we can get the right ones in so they don't have to spend their money going here and we have to get it out there. Uh, can you see how building a wall, taking care of our border can actually protect and save these people? That's a much better way to go with it. Same thing, I'm not saying what issues right or wrong. I'm saying if you would have sold that way, you probably had a better chance. That's it.